Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we are here to keep things simple and fun. Have you ever considered doing homecoming mini sessions or prom mini sessions or mini sessions in general? Well, we're gonna talk you through specifically today how we set up our prom mini sessions to be successful. And make sure to stay all the way till the end because we have something special just for you. We promise by the end of this video today, you will feel comfortable going out and booking your next grouping of mini sessions. For the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications of future videos. All right, let's dive in. So step one when it comes to prom mini sessions is to find out when the local proms are and start putting a bug in their ears early that you will be doing minis. So that means reach out to schools, find out the dates, check their websites, see if you can reach out to specific students you know attend the schools, get those dates confirmed, and then let people know that booking will be coming so they have it remembered when they are looking for photos as it gets closer to prom. Also, if you can, gather emails of people who would like to book or consider booking prom mini sessions with you because then you can have a nice list of emails that you can send just one template out to. Maybe they get early access. We've done that before. If you put your email here, you'll be the first to receive information about booking when it goes live. And then those are the people that can first hop on and pick the time slot that they want. Step number two pricing and how early to book. So we always then start to think about what do we want to price? We typically always are pricing our sessions at around $20 per person. That's a reasonable amount for high school students to pay. Um, and we find that it's just a good, good amount and works well and gets us booking um, all of our spots up. Now, how early to book we make sure that we are not booking our sessions too early. The reason for that, when we when we start booking, we want to know how many are in their group because that's going to kind of depend on how much time we kind of need to set aside for them. And if they have, if they say they're going to have two people, and then all of a sudden their group is twenty people, that's going to be huge to us. So we don't book too early. Typically about three weeks before their prom date is when we start booking. They know we're going to do it, but we're putting the bug in their ear. And then at about three weeks before is when we actually start the booking. And going back to pricing, as Emily said, we do charge $20 per person, not per group, per person. So you have to be very clear what you are charging if it's per person or per group. We find it best to do per person. It's just easier that way. Um, but if $20 isn't your price point and what you would charge in your area, charge more, charge less. Whatever it is, you can fit your needs. All right, three more important pieces here. So step three, the length of time. We are typically doing 15 minute sessions for our prom minis and we book them every 20 minutes. So that does give us five minutes in between each if one runs a little bit longer or whatever it might be, we have a little bit of wiggle room. Um, if we do get a large, large group, like 20 kids all in one group, we'll recommend that they take up two time slots, so about 30 minutes rather than 15. But typically we stick to the 15, we think that works very well. Um, the location, it's always a location that we choose um, based on maybe where their prom will actually be, where their school is potentially, but we pick a location where we know the light is going to work. Because when it comes to the time of day, that's where it gets a little tricky because prom starts right when we would really typically like to start the sessions. Um, just because that's your golden hour time and we love shooting at that time of day. However, that's when prom officially starts. They still need to go out to dinner and do all of those things. So we are shooting earlier in the day typically. Um, depending on the lighting, you can schedule it for however early you'd like. Um, up to 
however late you think it'll work for them. So it really depends on the different schools and the scenarios that they're in, how far do they travel to go eat, um, and all that sort of stuff. So we typically do our prom sessions for about three to four hours, right? Yeah. About yep. three to four hours, a time block of 15 minute or 20 minute time slots throughout those three to four hours. And one other tip too, if you're not sure that you're gonna book up, just put out one hour worth of a time slot for people to sign up for and then add another hour and then another hour, depending. We know that we'll probably book up all four of those hours, so we throw all of those out and first come, first serve for when they choose their time. All right, on to step four, signups. The first thing we do is we are giving our people that have given us their emails ahead of time, we usually give them early dibs, whether it's a couple hours early or a day early to sign up. And it is first come first serve. So whoever signs up first is going to be able to pick their time slot first. When they sign up, we collect the names of every single person that's going to be in their group so we can get a good count on number. And we collect the person who signs up and we only recommend one person for each group to sign up. So we tell them to communicate that in advance. One person signs up, we get their cell phone number. So we can text them reminders the day before, the day of, all of that kind of stuff if we need to cancel all that stuff. Um, anything else you wanna add with that? I think that's it. Okay. Step five is text and email reminders. So like Emily said, we do collect that one person in the groups phone number and this is just so we can remind them like remember to have your money collected we always try to have the leader have the money collected um and um, make sure to meet at this time make sure you're on time because we do have sessions back to back it's very important you're on time we're going to get started right away if you don't show up on time we will continue on with the next section or the next next session um, and then also it does rain sometimes. So if we have any change of plans or cancellations, we can have a number to text them right away. Step number six is to bring an assistant. We really highly recommend this because it's very, it's a pretty fast paced thing. Um, the assistant will have a clipboard that for us, we'll have a clipboard, we'll have the names of the people in the group, how many, the time, they collect the money. Now we collect the money the day of because they're a, if they're a large group, it's gonna be hard for them to arrange paying ahead of time. So we just trust that they will bring it the day of, but that's the assistant's job to make sure all the money has been collected before they leave and go on their way. Um, and then the assistant can just um, send them to where we are shooting and it's really nice and um, works really well for us. Because what otherwise we have ran into in the past is we'll be in the middle of a session, maybe it'll run late, maybe we're not watching the time. And our other group that's showing up next has been waiting way up there in the parking lot or whatever it might be. Maybe they don't know where we are. And now 10 minutes has gone by and now they have two minutes or whatever it might be for their session when it comes to it. So the assistant really is making sure things are moving. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, you're next. Go down there. They're ready for you. And it kind of cues us to wrap up the last session and move on to the next one. Okay, step number seven is all about delivery. So when it comes to delivery, we really go quick. So while they are at prom, like right when we get home from prom mini sessions, we are booking it to get these photos edited and into their gallery and into their inbox, which reminds us, we also collect their email address. And we can um, text them the gallery we too. We can text them the link to the gallery too, but we do edit them as fast as possible and get them to them as soon as we possibly can because what happens is the day after prom, all you see on social media is all of the photos they took at prom with their friends and everybody is prommed out of photos by the end of that day after prom. And then we, if we were to send them their gallery three days later, nobody wants to see prom photos again. Prom is done. That's like la totally last week. So we get them to them the night that we did their mini sessions if we can. 
as soon as possible. Comment below right now with any questions you have about how we run our prom minis or anything in that sort of sense. We hope that video was helpful for you and make sure to download our free guide. And our free guide is actually going to be all about posing families and seniors. So it's really great. And when we talk posing families, a lot of that can even carry over to posing a group of prom folks. So make sure to download that free guide. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, share with the friends so we know to make more videos just like this one. And we will see you next time.